We're talking about the Premier Pro CC18 exam, and we're looking at the second subdomain called Project Setup and Interface. We're on subdomain 2.4 called Import Assets into a Project. Part A of this project says that we should be able to import media from various sources. Within my project panel, I'm actually going to double click to import the media that I want. Now, if I back up just a minute, all of the files that I need are in this folder called Working Files. And if I select this folder and click Import Folder, it will actually bring that into a bin and put all of the files in here within that bin. But if I double click, I actually have the option of selecting individual file types within this folder. So maybe I want this badge. If I hold the control key down on my keyboard, I can select this Adobe Illustrator file. Let's take the video file and let's take the MP3 file and we'll leave this icon over here. From here, we'll click open and Premiere Pro brought those files into our project. Now, let's go ahead and start building a project from here. This is my video file. I'll just go ahead and drag that onto the timeline. Maybe I'm eventually going to add some music, so I'll click and drag that onto audio track two. And we'll bring that in. Maybe later we'll fade some of that so it doesn't sound so bad. We have the Adobe Illustrator file. Let me go ahead and bring that onto the timeline, and I'll, we'll drag that out so that it shows through more of the video. This is actually quite small. I can double click on this text and then drag it out, or I can right click on the project file on video track two to select scale to frame size or maybe set to frame size. We can bring our PNG file. We'll extend that out so we can see it for longer parts of the time. If I double click on the icon, then I can click and drag it around. Of course, you can set keyframes if you want to bring it in from left to right later on in the project. It's going to bring in an adjustment layer just to add to this. And we'll drag this out. So we've built our project and we just keep adding to all that's going on in our project panel. Our project panel can get messy. Part B of this subdomain says that we should be able to manage the assets in a Premiere Pro project. To do that, what we can do is create things called bins. If I click new bin here, notice a folder appears and I can name this. So we can call this maybe assets. I'll hit enter. If I click and drag this into the bin, notice that this gets pushed over. It's telling me that this is part of the assets folder. And I can do that with the different file types that I've brought in. We can create a bin called audio. So that way we can bring in our music into there. Maybe we want one for our sequences. We can click here and bring the sequences in. Something that I should note is you should be able to identify the different file types in your project panel. For example, you know that this icon's audio. This is a sequence. I currently have my project view and list view. By default, I believe it's an icon view. You should be comfortable with looking at it from either and identify the different file types that are in your project folder. Mm -hmm.